Hi guys, I will show you how to prepare Chinese hot pot in this video. That is too much work to prepare everything by yourself. So I suggest getting some store-bought food instead of making everything at home. However, it is way better to make the broth yourself, which is the heart and soul, the most crucial part of the meal. I'll explain how to make one spicy and one non-spicy herbal soup in this video. So let's get started. It's a good idea to prepare one spicy and one clear soup base for the diners to choose. Any food should be small, preferably bite-sized, which can be cooked within a short time because everyone shares the same pot. It's best to have a balance of meat, seafood, vegetables, noodles, mushrooms, although the menu is deeply personalized. So much about how to serve the hot pot. So now let's take a look how to prepare the non-spicy soup base. The foundation of the Chinese hot pot soup base is a good stock. My preference is a mixture of chicken and pork bones. Clean the bones under running water several times. This step removes as much blood and debris on the bone, effectively reducing the amount of scum left while boiling the stock. Place the bones in a pot of cold water and bring it to a boil. The amount of water should be just enough to submerge all the bones. After 2-3 to three minutes, discard the dirty water and wash the bones. Cut 2 stalks of scallion and a few slices of ginger. Then place the pork bones in a pot of cold water and bring it to the boil again. Place the scallion and the ginger in the pot and simmer together with the pork bones at barely simmering temperature for about 2 hours. The scallions and ginger will remove the blood and raw smell of the bones. Simply remove any scum floating by using a small wire mesh strainer. After 2 hours, add the chicken bones and simmer for another 1 hour. It takes a shorter time to extract the chicken bones flavor because they are thinner than pork bones. When it's done, remove the bones. Pour the stock through a wire mesh strainer to remove any small bones and debris. This stock is the foundation of the non-spicy herbal soup. What we need is to just to add some Chinese herbs and season with salt. The herbs are red dates, goji berry, Chinese angelica, yuzu, and garlic. Add all these except the goji berries and simmer for an hour. And season with some salt. Add a tablespoon of goji berries just right before you serve and it is done. Now let's move on to make the second one, the Sichuan spicy soup base. The essence of this soup base is the spices. Star anise, cinnamon. This is chao guo, which is also called black cardamom. You need to remove the seeds inside to reduce the bitterness. It is optional and it may be hard to get in Western countries. And this is Bai Ko, which is white cardamom, bay leaf, cumin seeds. Some recipes also use some fennel seeds, which looks like cumin seeds but is slightly bigger. Both are quite similar, so I just use cumin seeds alone. A few pieces of cloves. Sichuan peppercorns. There are two types, the green and the red one. 
I like to use a green one which has a more powerful tongue numbing effect. Costly ground the spices and set aside. Let's move on to prepare the aromatic for the spicy soup base. Ginger slices, costly chopped garlic, two stalks of scallion, coriander leaves cut into sections. Then set aside two tablespoons of chili bean paste, aka dou ban jiang. Cut the dry cheese into one inch sections. You have the option to keep or discard the seeds, depending on the level of heat that you prefer. Soak the dry chilies in hot water for 30 minutes to soften them so that it is easier to grind them either with a mortar and pestle or an electric blender. What is done, we can now move on to make the soup base. Heat some oil in the wok. Add the aromatics and fry over medium heat until the aromatics starts to turn brown. This step is to let the flavor of the aromatics infuse into the oil. Once it is slightly brown, remove all the aromatics and leave the oil in the wok. Put the chili paste into the oil over medium heat and stir fry until the water has evaporated and become fragrant. Add the chili bean paste, that's the dou ban jiang. And the ground spice mix that we have prepared. Season with some rock sugar. And Chinese rice wine. Pour the stock that we made earlier and bring it to a boil. And a handful of additional dry chili, which is optional. And finally, season with some salt. Everything is ready and it's time to eat. Mushrooms are perfect for hot pot because they absorb the flavor of the soup base. Once the food is cooked, remove it with a skimmer or a wire ladle. Also try to add the food that required approximately the same time to cook. I recommend you to cook the meat and the seafood first to make the soup base to become very flavorful. Then only followed by the vegetables. Then it's time to scoop out the soup and enjoy. And then you can refill with water or more stock to the pot. Subsequently, there will be more vegetables. Sometimes I also like to poach an egg. And finish with some noodles or rice vermicelli. I've just shown you how to prepare the Chinese hot pot. It is one of the best way to get all the friends and family members together, especially during a special occasion. If you want to get the recipe for the soup base, I've included it in the description right below the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and 
give me a like. I'll see you again in some other similar video very soon in the future and bye for now.